Hello my friends and welcome to today's episode on Grainificent. On today's episode I will be talking in short about the Zenith FIP camera history. It's not more about the Zenith company because uh, the KMZ produced many uh, different brands but you will find that out all in this video. This video is mainly focused on the evolution of the Zenith film cameras and a short history just like that. So I got here the Zenith 11 with the Helios 58-2 lens. That's one of the my favorite lenses. I adapted to my digital cameras as well to get that look. So let's get into it. The history of Zenit, the Soviet camera company, is a fascinating journey through the lens of time. For decades, Zenit cameras were synonymous with quality and affordability, enabling countless photographers, both amateur and professional, to capture moments that would become integral parts of history. The story of Zenit begins in the post-World War II era in the Soviet Union. In the aftermath of the war, the Soviet government recognized the need for a domestic camera industry to reduce reliance on Western imports. This realization laid the foundation for what would become one of the most prominent camera manufacturers in the Soviet Union. In 1952, the Krasnogorsky Mechanicheski Zavut KMZ, a mechanical factory in the town of Krasnogorsk near Moscow, officially launched the production of the Zenit camera. We should note as well that KMZ produced the Zorky rangefinder cameras, the Horizon panoramic cameras, the Moskva series of cameras, and the Krasnogorsk movie cameras as well. The name Zenit is derived from the Russian word for Zenith, symbolizing the peak of Soviet optics and technology. The Zenit E, introduced in the early 1960s, was a game changer for the Soviet camera industry. It was a simple, reliable, and affordable 35mm single lens reflex camera. Zenit E brought the world of SLR photography to the masses, making it accessible for aspiring photographers. It featured a unique screw mount which was compatible with M42 lenses and quickly became a popular choice for amateur photographers worldwide. During the Cold War, the Soviet Union and the United States engaged in fierce competition not only politically and militarily, but also in the realm of technology and innovation. The camera industry was no exception. Zenit was seen as a symbol of Soviet technological prowess and was often used as a diplomatic tool to showcase the achievements of the socialist state. Zenit cameras were instrumental in shaping the way photography was perceived in the Soviet Union and beyond. They played a significant role in documenting life in the Soviet bloc. While Zenit cameras were known for their simplicity and ruggedness, they also introduced several innovations to the world of photography. Zenit's compatibility with M42 lenses allowed photographers to use a wide range of lenses, providing versatility and creative freedom. In the 1970s, Zenit introduced through-the-lens metering, making exposure calculations more accurate and accessible for photographers. Zenit cameras were renowned for their compact, portable design, making them ideal for travel and field work. And most importantly, the Helios lenses. Zenit cameras were often paired with Helios lenses, known for their unique swirly bokeh effect, which added a distinctive character to images. One of the most iconic moments in Zenit's history was its association with space exploration. Zenit cameras with their rugged construction and high-quality optics were selected for space missions. In particular, Zenit cameras were used for space photography on Soviet spacecraft, including the Vostok and Soyuz programs. Yuri Gagarin's historic journey into space was documented using a Zenit camera 
emphasizing the camera's role in capturing extraordinary moments in history. The simplicity of Zenith's design allowed photographers to focus on the creative aspects of their work, unburdened by complex technology. As the Cold War ended and the Soviet Union began to unravel, Zenith faced numerous challenges, economic turmoil, shifts in consumer preferences, and the liberalization of markets led to a decline in the popularity of Zenith cameras. The company struggled to keep up with changing photography trends and rising dominance of Japanese camera manufacturers. Although Zenith cameras are no longer produced, their legacy endures. Vintage Zenith cameras remain popular among collectors, photographers, and enthusiasts. The camera's robust construction means that many of these vintage models are still operational today, continuing to capture moments in the digital age. From the humble beginnings in a Soviet factory to the heights of space exploration, Zenith's journey has led left an indelible mark on the world of photography and on the collective memory of an era. Zenith cameras have become symbols of an era gone by, cherished for their simplicity, durability, and the moments they helped preserve. And so, if you like this video, a subscribe would mean a lot to me. It shows me that I make helpful and interesting content. So thank you for watching, my friends, and see you in the next video.